A cold and frosty evening in the year of 42. Patrick Lover got employment in the town near Killaloo. His daily occupation was to drive an essence van to deliver talk to hostels for a not of violent man. Now he sat at work each morning and he worked the day all through to keep the home fires burning in a place near Killadrew. His master was delighted with the money he returned and promised him a rise in pay when all the talk was burned. He was working on commission and his salary it did soar. Each day he had a dozen pints and he often had a score. But his throat it got contracted and his tongue was overgrown. So his only satisfaction was a battle of his own. <laughs> so he laid his plans one evening when returning from a drive. When the Northman and the Bohobies were playing this 45, being dutiful and honest, he had charge of all that yard. So he rolled along his barrel to the yard of Mary Ward. Now his throat was getting desperate despite the biting blast, and the porter must be got at once and flowing quick and fast. Like all the Irish porter sharks, he hit upon a plan. <laughs> A candle and a gimlet and a cock for holding jam. <laughs> the first discharge was furious at all the galvanized. It stunned the operator and it blinded both his eyes. <laughs> but his senses soon returned and recovering from that shock. He says, my belly eye will fill with gimlet and with crop. He drank and filled and called for help. And then he called for order. To drink the health of a decent man that meant from over the border. Oh, All this help arrived with candlelight and soon began to quarrel. And he had me on the same old night, the Ballinair boy stole the barrel, poor over doors and doors for days, with many a sickly change, till he got fresh air on the barrack square and the barrel above in green. <laughs> All the guards at once assembled to investigate the charge. If twould be light in clear their light, there's such a man at large. The man prosecuted and the justice held the trial. I tell you too, he held the view, which caused us all to smile. Justice Lisa says, Now what do you say, Pat Lovers? And Lovers roared for order. If this bell was mine to see, I'd jail O'Brien and send him over the border. And Lisa says, three months confined, you will be your time. Your record is obscure. If you're here again, you'll both go in and O'Brien will be next door. <laughs> All this time next year, you must appear. You're listening to my order. And we'll drink the health of a decent man. That's mentioned both the problems. <laughs>